Hello, have we seen a back of strikes by nurses and ambulance workers in England? Well, just over an hour ago, we had news of a breakthrough in talks between the government and NHS unions. It seems that ministers have put a new pay deal on the table which could put an end to at least some of those strikes. We should say it does not include junior doctors who are negotiating separately. Let's get more information on this breaking story from our health correspondent Catherine Jones who joins us from outside the Unison headquarters in central London. Catherine, I know this is all happening in the last 60 minutes or so, but what do we know about this deal? Well, we've become so used to seeing picket lines outside hospitals, it's easy to forget that just three months ago we were watching the unprecedented first ever historic strike by nurses in the history of the NHS uh, in a, on a large scale. Since that unprecedented walkout in December, we've seen, by my count, 12 days of disruption across England, Wales and Northern Ireland, with members of the Royal College of Nursing, the GMB, Unison, Unite, the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy and the Royal College of Midwives walking yeah. out. But the first sign of progress came three weeks ago when the RCN suspended its strikes and went into what it called intensive talks with the government. They were joined 10 days later by the representatives of the other five unions involved and others who aren't striking. And just over an hour ago, as you've said, uh, they came to a joint statement in which they said they had come to a final offer and they added in their joint statement, both sides believe it represents a fair and reasonable settlement that acknowledges the dedication of NHS staff while acknowledging the wider economic pressures currently facing the UK. Speaking on behalf of the union negotiators, here's Sarah Gorton from Unison. The offer that's on the table today was hard won uh, from health workers who've taken industrial action over the course of the winter. Whether it will be enough to make up for a really difficult year for health staff, that's what we've got to test in the consultations. But the unions that have got mandates for industrial action have just uh, now agreed that they will put that offer to members. OK, Cathy, so what is the deal then that's broken the deadlock? Well, just to remind you of what was the deal. So what was there uh, was a pay rise of at least £1,400 for the past year. That's kind of ending this April. And from this April, ministers had long stuck to a recommendation of 2% as a pay rise, although recently floated the idea of 3.5%. The new offer is a one-off payment for this year on top of what people have already been paid, worth between £1,600 and £3,700, and then a 5% rise for the coming year. All of this applies to England only, by the way, and uh, all of the unions have agreed to put it to their members. Three of the largest, Unison, the GMB and the Royal College of Nursing, have said they will recommend members accept it. However, Unite, the union, has said uh, they will recommend not accepting. Here's what the health Secretary had to say a few moments ago in, re in reaction to all We this. have listened to the concerns of the trade unions. We've had meaningful discussions with them. We've both sides have engaged constructively. Obviously, the starting position from a, the number of the unions was much higher, uh, and so both sides have worked together to reach a settlement uh, which is both affordable to the wider taxpayer and balances the very real pressures we recognise that NHS workers have been on. OK, that's the Health Secretary. Later on in the programme, we'll be hearing from a nurse and get their reaction to all of this. But we've seen, haven't we, something like 100,000 appointments cancelled in the NHS. How does the service actually recover from that, Cathy? Well, you have to ask because, remember, none of this applies to the doctors. And the junior doctors, as you mentioned, walked out on Monday and only just came back to work after three days of striking at 7 o'clock this morning. And the consultants who have been covering for their colleagues, well, they might be balloted for strike action next month if the British Medical Association say they don't get an improved offer for them. So, uh, yes, we will have to wait and see on all of that. Let's also remember to wait and see for Wales and Northern Ireland. In Scotland, uh, what happens... Well, they've escaped disruption so far, but right now nurses are sending in ballots to decide whether they will start striking. Uh, one bit of good news for Scotland, though, the GMB say their ambulance workers have accepted an offer and will not go on strike.